If there's one video I recommend you watching out of all the dropshipping TikTok ad videos is this video. What's up beautiful people, it's Nas here and in today's video I'm gonna teach you the most crucial part of finding a winning product and I think this is probably the most important thing that been stopping you from finding a winning product and I truly believe that 90% of why you're not finding a winning product is your creatives. Um, if you're not finding a winning product, probably you've been using other people's creatives, your creatives are not good enough, you're not putting enough effort into your creatives, or you might be even putting enough effort in your creatives, but you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You don't have the right direction. You don't know what you're doing. So what I did, I put together five winning TikTok ad video ads formats. There's so many more. I have the full thing in my Discord. If, you, if you're not in it yet, I have a free Discord down below somewhere. I put the link down below, go ahead and join. Uh, but for now, I'll put five together just so you can kind of get an idea of what format of video do I put together when I'm making my videos? What do I need to do to find myself a winning product? Uh, it's not about wanting winning product, it's about wanting winning creative. You could have the best product in the world, but if you don't know how to advertise it, you're not gonna find yourself a winning product. So what do you need to do? You gotta have to find yourself a product, whatever product, you know? You could have whatever product, okay product, but if you know how to advertise it and you have a killer video ads for it, then that product could become a winning product. So we're gonna go through five of my favorite ways of making videos and then go from there, okay? Also, if you stay till the end of this video, I'm gonna give you access to this file and example of a couple of these videos. So you can go ahead and review them, how to make videos like these, and kind of review the style of these videos. So make sure you stay till the end of this video and I'll give you how to get them for free, okay? so. Uh, just stay there. Let's get into it. So the first one is TikTok response bubble. You might have also caught yourself ever if you're scrolling on TikTok that, you know, there's a bubble right like this. I have like, let's say here it says I have five children. Basically, I just this is a, just a screenshot and someone is putting this little thing together. Right. And then you're watching it because there's someone asking a question. There's something in your brain that clicks when someone's asking a question because it makes it feel like you're asking the question and someone's answering it in a video form. Uh, for some reason, it favors the algorithm. So people watch it longer, they wanna get answer. It's just a good ad. It, it works perfectly. For whatever reason, people watch it longer. It's a great ad, it's a great way to make an ad. So what I like to do, I, I implement this a lot in my ads, is that you create something, you ask a question or you make a comment and then your video is kind of a response to that bubble, if that makes sense. So how we're gonna go about it, what we can do is you can test multiple angles. You can do it with benefits, you can change it up, you can change up the first three seconds, you can come up with maybe answering just a question. Like for example, with makeup stuff, like I've done a lot of like makeup like little makeup things uh, that like, let's say someone's asking, oh, you're using the product wrong. And then that person is showing that different ways of using that product, right? Like let's say something with brows or something with eyeshadow or something like that. Uh, you gotta keep it super natural because you're not really advertising it. You're just answering a question. People love watching it. I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with Alex Earl, go watch his hair videos. She's getting a lot of views because it's just so natural. She's just using the product and people are dying like just to watch her just use products for some reason. Uh, you wanna have strong positive testimonial about the product. So whatever product that you're using, you wanna have such good testimonial positive attitude toward the product. So you don't wanna be like cold, but you don't wanna be super excited either that is super ads -y. so you want to be natural but you want to also be positive when you're using the product so whenever you send it out to influencers or content creators by the way i have a list of full content creators again inside my discord go check it out uh if you haven't yet um also you could mm, combine it with green screen which is another method that i really like we'll get into that later uh, i sometimes like to use a cta call to action and i don't necessarily always recommend it but sometimes you can use it sometimes I skip it, I just answer the question, and then, you know, TikTok itself, at the end, it gets to, like, CTA itself, so you don't necessarily have to add the CTA, I'm not a fan, necessarily. Sometimes I add it, sometimes I don't, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, um, so you can skip it if you want to. So let's take a look at, you know, uh, example script of how it would be if, um, you know, if there was a video of um, a bubble and an answer. 
I wanted this eyebrow stamp forever, and they're just on sale, so I could get one. So for example, I know it's crazy, but how can I do a perfect eyebrow in seconds? So this girl is showing how to do a perfect eyebrow in seconds. I might get um, flagged for this song, so I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so, and you see it, there's call to action, so it's click down below, and then they, did, they decided that they're gonna do call to action. You can sometimes do it, you don't have to necessarily every time, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, next one, let's get into the next one. So green screen was the next one that I was talking about. So green screen is actually something I teach in my course, it's like a whole thing, like whole two hours video that I think I've talked about. Um, how you can do green screen videos, not having the product. Pretty much you can literally have your store, like put the product together and then talk about the product and um, without actually having the product. So it's basically green, if you don't know what green screen is, is uh, you put, you know, your, you have a picture on the back or the video on the back and you're just kind of reacting to it or talking about the product, right? Just kind of like this. And then I have a little video, like I said, a stay till the end of the video. You, I'll give you the link to this thing. I'm not gonna go through this because as long as it's how to make one, um, it's a whole process of explaining how to, you can make one yourself. Um, you're gonna basically, kind of you're gonna, gonna introduce the product, show the benefits and features, start how it would improve life quality. And then you can, again, add the CTA. I'm not gonna get two details about it. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of how, uh, how, what it is and what it means and how it looks like, okay? So this is how it would look like. Out of my business, starting off strong at the back of my hair. When I do my hair, this is all I can see. This is the only message I can kind of confidently approve of. I'm just gonna give you an example of what, what it is. She's just talking about things that are none of my business and then she just has a picture on the back. So it could be a picture, it could be a video, it could be a reaction, it could be a product, it could be whatever that we want it to be. That's called a green screen, right? You're just talking about something you know, that is on the background. It's very catchy. People love watching these kind of stuff. Just talk about it and like, think about yourself. When you're scrolling on TikTok, like, if, do you ever catch yourself like watching stuff that you're like, oh, like these kind of stuff get views. Like, look at the views, look at the likes, look at all this stuff. Like she's getting a lot of interactions. So what's going on back here, it feels borderline irresponsible and reckless for me to sign off on whether or not I identify with what the back of my head looks like because I've never seen it. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because it's just irrelevant to, I just wanted to show you what it is to have it, to to have a green screen. There's more, like I said, stay till the end of the video. I'm gonna send you this uh, link so you can go ahead and review it. So the third one uh, is dialogue. So what that is, is basically you have a first person. I see that a lot in ads. Oh, this is like a really good one. Uh, we scaled a couple ads like that, which is basically is the same person. Mm, yeah, I'm trying to think if we've ever done two different people. No, it's the same person. So like basically it's the same person and there's another, there's another person responding, but, but it's the same person, but they're, they're dressed differently. Does that make sense? So you might have actually seen, uh, what is it called? Um, this video that this lady is with a romper and is asking, oh, nice dress, where'd you get it from? And then she's exactly re responding again with the same, like with a dress and it's like, oh, um, with a, and it has pocket in it. It's the same girl, but it's, it's a different dress, if that makes sense. So uh, it's how it works is person A, start with a problem and a hook, right? So it could be like, whatever, uh, oh, like I need a dress or, you know, I, they have a problem, whatever it could be. Person A, answer with a product. Oh, my dress has a pocket, you know? Person A, oh, how do I, it says, how do I start? Oh, where did you get it from, you know? Or something like that. And then person B, explain how to start a service or buy a product. Oh, I got it from this place. So kind of kind of like that. So you go from person A, person B, person A, person B, person A. And it could be longer. It could be like six, seven. Like, I think this one was like way longer. It would go like for one minute. And then let me show you, this is, oh, this is a different one. You might have seen this one. This is not about a product, but Erica Lawyer, she does a lot of examples like this. I just wanted to show you because it's funny and it's kind of interacting. Hi, it looks like my flight idea. has been delayed. Yeah, some of the flight crew called out sick. Nothing I can do, so just keep waiting. So that's what it is. It's the same person. Basically, she's just like reacting as, she's acting as two different people. She has no idea. I know this act. Watch this. Actually, I read your conditions of carriage. What time's the flight now supposed to board? Since we're delayed, the new boarding time is 12, 10 a.m. Well, according to your terms, if there's a delay, that's your fault and you don't board before 11, 59 p.m., you'll pay for the cost of the hotel. So you can literally do the same thing for a product. You can react from the first person or go, oh, let's say for example, my hair has been really dry and the second person has really good hair. It's the same person, but it's like 
you know, you know what I mean. And I was like, oh yeah, I've been using this like shampoo and conditioner. It's been making my hair so soft and silky. And then the first one, oh, really? Like, where did you get it from? Something like that, you know? Like, you can literally duplicate these ideas. There's so much you can do, and I don't know why people don't do it. Like, there's, there's so much you guys can do. Like, there's so many ideas. There's so much that would actually perform. And then I see people consistently recycling things that don't work and then wondering why they don't work because there's so much out there that actually works. Anyhow, so the next one is website to life. You might have seen this one again uh, that people like be like, oh, what I ordered versus what I got. Uh, so let's watch the video first and then we kind of talk about it later. Um, so people will be like, oh, this is what I ordered versus what I got. So what I like to do with these kind of stuff is like, because it's not, it can't be that long. It could be what, what I ordered versus what I got. That part itself gets a lot of views because the first three seconds is the most important thing. So when, once you do that, so it could be the first three seconds, then you could do a review style right after. So you can stitch it to something that it reviews it. Now you can just like talk about the product, talk about the features, talk about how good the product is, talk about how, let's say if it's a clothes, how does it fit, um, how the color is, if, it, it is how it was described or let's say if you're recording it yourself just talk about all these stuff for like let's say 30 minutes 30 seconds to 45 seconds but if you're sending it out to content creators make sure that you write all these things be write all these things down for your content creator I like to take control of all these little things I do not like to give my content creators a lot of control I make sure that everything is under my control I don't like to have them have all the control because most of the time if i do that none of my ads would perform i like to have the script from a to z otherwise literally nothing would perform the thing is with content creators they don't know they don't run ads so they don't know what performs and what doesn't so make sure then the reason i put this together is because it, when you do that then you kind of get an idea exactly what it needs to be from the beginning till the end because if you don't know if you don't take control then you're just kind of like putting something out there and hoping it works you know just keep in mind, like these platforms, uh, people don't have patience. They just want to scroll. So if you're not grabbing someone's attention within three seconds, the algorithm is not going to favor you. It's going to move on to the next person with better ads, better engagement, better everything. So you got to be better than the you know person be before you and person after you. Um, so they just that's just something, a game that you need to play. Okay, so um, just keep that in mind. Uh, let's go to the next one, Pop. This this one is a good one. It's point of view. You see that a lot. It's a big one again. You see it all the time. If you go actually search Pop on PP ads, which is my favorite thing that I use all the time. If you go typing Pop, you see a bunch of Pop ads come up. Point of view ads on TikTok are popular formats where creators immerse viewers in specific scenarios, providing a unique and engaging perspective. So, uh, for example, you're going to show something like, for example, this one is probably a romanticizing app applying sunscreen, right? So one of the thing is like, people want to see, oh, what is it? What is it? Like, I don't know. It's just create that curiosity in people for some reason. So you're going to have your hook features, benefits, again, testimonial after would be nice. Uh, you can add CTA again. Uh, let's look at some examples. For example, this one, let's take a look. You want to work for my slime company? Do you have at least five years of experience of slime? You don't? Ugh. Okay, well, question number one. When you put liquid acid in the slime, how many drops of liquid acid do you put? Five? So, of course, no. you can find ways to make it more engaging, more funny, more... Like, this is not an ad. I don't think this is an ad. But it makes it, you know, it's engaging. We're just putting videos. I'm just looking at videos to like show you guys as an example because it doesn't matter as long as the video is engaging. Like find videos and use as inspiration for your own videos. So just always keep that in mind. Like these are the important things that you need to use. If if you there's one video that I want you to rewatch is this one video. The creatives that you put out there are why you're gonna find a winning product, not the products, not your product page, not your logo, nothing. The creatives are everything. Put enough energy and you know effort into your creatives because that's why you're gonna have a winning product, not nothing else. So um, 
So how are you gonna get access to this five winning TikTok video ad format to check it out yourself? All you gotta do, make sure that you su you're subscribed and like this video, then go ahead and follow me on Instagram right here, right here, I don't know. Uh, and then DM me five winning TikTok ad video formats, okay? So make sure you follow me and then DM me and I'll send you the link so you can go ahead and check it out. Also, if you want me to personally help you, hold your hand, coach you one-on-one, -on -one, help you with finding you a winning product with your creatives, with products and everything, uh, go ahead and DM me coaching and I'll ask you a couple questions, see if you're qualified and we'll kind of go from there, okay? Let me know if you have any questions in comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.